Today we will do one experiment related with uh, your lesson number 14 chemical effects of electric current. So you can see the experiment given in your book experiment number 6 to find the electrical conductivity of different materials. So in the lesson number 14 you have studied what are good conductors and what are poor conductors or insulators. So we have different materials which can conduct electricity, some materials which do not pass electricity. So let us uh, test it today with the help of this experiment. So I have done the experimental setup today. You can see the things I am using. In your book, what are the sample materials given here? The test materials are iron nail, aluminium strip, copper wire, silver foil, rubber eraser and charcoal. And here I am doing the testing with the six test materials. You can see here, the first one is graphite. So this is a pencil. The inside part of this pencil is made up of a type of carbon material. It is called as graphite. It can conduct electricity. Here it is a rubber eraser is there. Third one is screw. The screw is made up of steel which also contains the main base metal is iron. It can conduct electricity. Fourth one is a golden ring. This is also a metal, it can conduct electricity. Fifth one is a plastic, which is an insulator, cannot conduct electricity. And the last one, sixth one is an aluminium wire. Or alumin this is one, one of the aluminium product. So, we will test with uh, all these uh, test materials today. And which one conducts electricity, which cannot conduct electricity. So, here I have few more things to show you. The different types of uh, batteries with the different capacities. So I have two types of 1.5 volt batteries. So it depends on the size the chemicals which is filled inside the battery will be different. So if it is only 1.5 here it, we are calling as one cell. Number of, number of 1.5 cells joined together to form a battery. And I have a different type of battery here. This is, uh, you can see the volt uh, written here, 9 volt. And you can see what's the difference here compared to these two. Here in this uh, cell, this is the positive terminal. So you can see positive terminal and negative terminal. So this is the disc which is having the negative charge. And this is the cap. It is having positive charge. So here in the battery it will be marked here positive terminal which is positive. Here you can see this positive terminal and here it will be marked as negative terminal. The same way here what is the difference noticed here both the positive and neg negative terminal both are in the same side. You can see the hexagonal shape represents the negative terminal and another one which is circle shape having the positive terminal and the volt is 9 volt and I have copper wires this we are using to conduct electricity for the connection to make electric circuit so let us uh, start the experiment now so let us do the experiment now my son is going to do the experiment so first I will show you how to connect an electrical circuit and how can we check the, whether the connection is done properly so what are the things required to do this we need copper wires so you can see two copper wires here one is in black color one is in red color so this uh, black and red is connected to the different terminals of the battery here uh, the red is connected to the positive terminal and black is connected to the negative terminal and we have a bulb here you can see the bulb here then uh, we have a switch connected to this and we have 9 volt battery here. So the connection is given. So if the switch is off, the switch is off means there is power is not here. The connection is done but it's not working. Right. So the electrons are not passing. So how is this happening? Inside the battery, the chemicals are stored. This will be converted to the form of electrical energy. And the electrons will start flowing, carrying the electric charge. 
so let us uh, check it now so now the switch is off so the bulb is not glowing now the switch is going to on yeah so now you can see the bulb is glowing the bulb is glowing so once the switch is off bulb is not glowing it is on now so the connection is proper the electricity is flowing so the bulb is glowing now so let us switch off so if you switch on for more time all the chemicals will be used up very fast so then now we'll enter to the experiment given your book so what are the test materials we have i have introduced you so one by one let us test now so first to test material is graphite so we are using the lead part of this pencil we are giving the connection to this so you can check whether the bulb is glowing yeah the bulb is glowing so the connection is proper and it is a type of conductor so it, the bulb is glowing so let us move to the second one next one is a uh, rubber eraser so it you all know this is an insulator so the bulb should not glow once you are connecting this and completing the circuit okay let us connect it now so bulb is not glowing so is a type of insulator let us move into the third one what's the third one the screw you're testing with the screw you connect it now yeah bulb is glowing so screw as it contains iron and other metals to make it it conducts electricity yes we we'll test with the, the fourth one what is the fourth one the golden ring yeah this is also glowing because it's a type of metal so gold contains more part of gold plus it is alloyed with some amount of copper okay let us test next one uh, we have plastic here so when whenever you are doing this connection just uh, do one precaution both the ends should not touch directly then your test will be false okay there is no bulb is glowing here so this is also an insulator so we'll move to the last one what we have we have aluminium covered think this is also actually this should conduct electricity so you can see the connection here we are connecting it we'll test yeah this is also conducting electricity so we have done testing with the uh, six samples now let us check your activity 1 given in lesson number 14 potato experiment so in this uh, you can see one potato it is uh, skin is removed and that open part we have taken two iron nails or any screw the iron content should be there what you are using for this experiment so i have fixed these two screws inside the potato and the connection is going to give to a battery and a bulb with the help of copper wires so you know as it contains iron it can conduct electricity once the circuit is complete so let us check now the bulb is yeah the bulb is glowing so once this uh, connection is uh, given properly the bulb is glowing so what is the reason the potato contains some substances which can release ions these free ions can carry the electric charge and circulate through the circuit so the same experiment we can test if continuously you are doing this and leave it for 5 minutes you can see at the positive electrode around the positive electrode one greenish blue spot will be forming for that we have to wait some more time and if you use more time what happens it will drain up the battery as it uses all the chemical charges so let us do 
other experiments now so now we'll test with this plier the same activity what is given with tester so we, for tester or plier we have two parts one is made up of insulator another part is made up of metal so you can see here the test is now with the insulator part so can you see the bulb is glowing no the bulb is not glowing that means it is a type of insulator let us test with the metal part now yeah the bulb is glowing very brightly that means it is a good conductor so this is one of the test so now we'll move to the last experiment of today's so for this we are going to check the conductivity of an electrolyte so i have taken tap water as you all know tap water contains only very less number of ions it is not a strong electrolyte so to make a strong electrolyte to pass the electricity i have added one spoon of salt and mixed it and it is dissolved inside this water to make this salty solution this is used as an electrolyte so i have two electrodes here it is made up of steel that is iron with the other alloys so this will be acting as cathode and anode and the connection we are going to do now so give the connection now so one wire is connected to the positive electrode another wire to the negative electrode once it connects can you see the bulb is glowing yeah the bulb is glowing so what happens here the connection is completed so you all know here these two electrodes are not connected so in here there is a distance the down part you can check now this is not touching so the ions are passing through the electrolyte from one electrode to the next electrode to complete the circuit so that the bulb is glowing so once more we'll test now yeah the bulb is glowing very brightly so that means now we made the electrolyte as a strong electrolyte by mixing this sodium chloride inside tap water so by this we'll end of end up this uh, experiment so you can try all these at home if you have all these uh, things 